Hey guys, Captain Daddy here. Welcome to the day 21 video. As usual, I will start the video by asking you to consider subscribing to the channel if you find the content to be useful, helpful, or just plain old entertaining. We are on the road to 100 subscribers already, which is mind blowing to me. So I appreciate you guys being part of the community and watching the videos. As usual, keep an eye out for the comment of the day. It is in there somewhere. Today's video, we're gonna spend a lot of time cleaning up our power production. Yesterday was all about getting the batteries purchased. We're gonna get enough power capacity to run through the night. So that is all about today's video. So let's get it. Well, hey guys, Captain Daddy here. For those of you that missed the day 20 video, yesterday's video, we had a problem at the end of the video where my machine locked up and I had to close out the game right at the 12.05 mark when the attack happened. So it looks like my save never occurred. So it looks like it's rolled us back to about 10.45 on day number 20. So what we're going to do is we're gonna hang out here until we, until we get the attack and then we're gonna resume our day number 21 video from that point on, which as far as these big advanced batteries that we just bought i'd like to have about eight of them and so that needs lead so eight times eight well those all have lead so maybe seven in total more so i need about seven times eight 56 lead May, maybe not quite that much so i'm gonna run out to the mine I'm gonna run out to the mine and grab some lead that was my plan for day number 21 but we had to put that on hold because like I said, the game rolled us back just a little bit. Kind of waiting for this attack. I don't want to just skip out on the attack. I do like those nightly attacks. So I'm going to go ahead and move us into position here to be prepared for that. So there is our attack. We're going to move this into position. I have just a few moments to go ahead and refill all these. We're going to knock out this attack. And then as soon as we get this attack knocked out, we're going to run directly basically right out to the mine. The mine is right across the street. For those of you that don't know where we are, we're in the center area right here where all these towns are that haven't been fully developed yet. Our horde attacks happen nightly, so you guys will be blessed with two horde attacks tonight. That should be closing. Oh, that was close! And it's set to every single day with a maximum of 12. So, there's our attack. One, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six of them. So I would consider this to be a medium attack. So let's get these guys cleaned up. Get it off. Bro. Oh, man. All right. And there's a save going off from the top left. So, man, I, all right. Well, there's that. We've had a little bit of a challenge this season with Mike coming in and out of this courtyard area. This courtyard that we've squatted down in, it is fully locked down the, by the fence line, so he cannot get in and out of our courtyard unless I move these spike traps out of the way. So I have to be cognizant, move them out of the way, and then put them back into position before the attack. So there's that. So now we're on day 21. We're going to pick up exactly where we left off. I'm going to get this stuff put away. Fuel goes into here. You can go into there as well. We've got one aluminum ore, which I'm just, whatever, throwing it here. Oh, here comes a snowstorm. Got some hardware. I need food. Beautiful. Okay. So our goal today is to make some more batteries. The last time we ran out to the mine, I'm going to bring a, at least, I need to bring some boxes with them because we filled up, basically, make sure this thing's still empty. We filled up two and a half boxes worth of ore pretty quickly and there was still quite a bit of aluminum left behind so I think what I want to do today is I want to get out there I want to ensure that we have a nice ratio I want to kind of balance out I think our production do you, are you empty no nope. are you empty I'm, I'm gonna pull you sorry I'm gonna steal you mr. clay come on Mike I want to try to even out our ratio out here in the mine a little bit I was very very heavy on the aluminum for a while because aluminum is Pretty high in demand in the beginning. So let's get out of here. Get to the mine, and then we'll see what kind of layout we have out here. All right. Well, that was a rough trip here. All right. Turn off this loud truck. It is almost unbearably loud. And then this guy. Holy moly. 
I mean, yeah, this is the, the aluminum. Oh my god. I emptied out two aluminums. This is all I was able to empty out last time we were here. I just have so. Okay, so these first three are cobalt. Cobalt, cobalt. These were just emptied out. So this one, we'll take this. Our, our three cobalts are looking pretty good. Uh, copper. And another copper. Oh, just barely over. So we're going to be in the same boat we were in last time. Where we've got... There's some copper there. You can have some copper. And then you can be some aluminum. This aluminum. This aluminum. That one's still full. Two are still full. Three are still full. So three of these... I don't know if I need that much aluminum. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna move you and reset your timer on you. That's fine. And then I'm gonna make you. I have three cobalt. I'm gonna make you a copper, just to kind of balance you out here a little bit, because I don't need that much aluminum. I don't think anymore. And then that way, then I have one, two, three, four. I have five aluminum, three copper, three cobalt. That feels like a decent ratio to me. And then, of course, I need a bunch of lead. So that's what I'm going to do. Do I take the iron ore that pops out, or do I just farm? <laughs> While I'm farming this, there's been something that I've been wanting to show you guys, and I have not taken the opportunity to do that yet. So as I'm running around this mine here, I'm sprinting. My stamina is dropping around, blah, 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 blah. I mean, we all know that when you get stamina depleted, your guy walks for a minute. One of the things that I do to make myself more efficient running around this cave here is I'm going to get myself back up to 100 stamina here. And I'm going to show you guys this. If you notice every time you jump, you lose two stamina. 94, 92, 90, 88. Every time you sprint, you lose stamina. I mean, everybody knows that part, right? If you run and sprint and jump, Every time you jump, you lose your 2 HP, but you're not losing your stamina while you're moving. So I'm able to move through this cave very, very quickly. And I wanted to share that with you guys so that maybe that'll help. So all I'm doing is holding sprint and jump. Jump, 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 jump. So the stamina is... I'm still moving at the sprint pace, but I'm only being penalized the jump stamina. Oh, now I'm over. That penalty still applies. Oh, that penalty definitely still applies. Um, I guess I'll drop a... No. I mean, I came here for the lead. I don't want to drop the lead. Here, let me drop the coal, and I'll come back and get that. Let me go drop this here. Jump. 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 Floating, man. I'm a butterfly. No, I have no... I got some room still. All right, so that looks like 17, 27, 30, 37-ish. I've got somewhere in the 37-ish range. I've got a little bit more here. I'm going to go ahead and back this bad boy up out of here. Get back, smelt some lead. I need to turn off our... Oh! need to turn off our outdoor lighting here. All right, let's get ourselves full of lead here. Oh, I don't know why. I guess I picked up that clay again. Um, can I... I can carry a couple of these. That uh, 73 is good enough for me. All right, let's get in here. We'll get some lead smelted down. Uh, I knew you were going to be out when you want random aluminum. You're empty. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sure, make another iron there. Our guy's looking a little, probably thirsty. Yeah, that's that's about the normal for our guy here. We'll get him some food too while we're waiting for that stuff to smelt down. We are doing a no sleep challenge. We're on day twenty-one. We've not slept. We don't even own a bed at this point, point. and that's all made possible through the MVP of the season, the melon. You notice my energy bar is just jumping up as I'm eating these melons. They are full of sugar. Therefore, they are excellent source of energy. And didn't quite get enough. There's probably still, uh, let's say there's probably still some out there that need to be picked that he just hasn't had an opportunity to pick yet. Also, 
this wooden chair. I'm at 80 HP. If I'm going to sit here for a moment, I'll get my HP back as well. And then we'll be a hundreds across the board going on probably, what, 4 a.m., maybe 5 a.m. Day 21, we'll get these batteries built out. And then we'll start looking at our power production to see if we can make sure we get that fully charged. There's that. Perfect. All right, so our power production. Panels are not coming online yet. We have five power. Now we have 15. So they are slowly charging, but we're really not running anything. Our big challenge here is these stone extractors run all night, but I cannot run these grinders all night. I can turn them on only 5 a.m. or so. I can probably get away with it. And now that we've got this additional capacity, see, we run negative 383 when those are on. So that, that's a pretty big hit to the bottom line. There's another one. And another one. So there's two more additional batteries. This is 6,000 more capacity. We're, we're just leaving these batteries in this little area for Mike. This season, we're not making racks. We're not doing anything like that. He never sleeps anyways. He doesn't need this room. And I feel like this is just a wasted space. And since we are in the central area, in this little courtyard area here, it's, it's a pretty small footprint as it is. So I feel like... Using less space is better for us. All right, let's get some of this stuff put away. What do I have on me that I can put away? Uh, nothing. Okay, let's put this stuff in here. And this chair, I did move it in here near a fire because it, we were very, very cold after a loot run. And now that that loot runs over with, I'm going to come out here. That's mostly cool. I think I can pull all of this stuff out of here without going over. 70, and then I can move a, a, a crate with us. That will be just fine. And this pretty much is what we did yesterday is I felt like we just basically smelted the entire day away. I mean, I don't think that's 100% true because I think we went out and we got the uh, the battery packs that we are trying to... Oh, look, I still have ore up here that I haven't even smelted down. So, And then we've got this box. We've got more aluminum and more clay in here. Not clay. We've got more aluminum and more lead in here. And then again, in the back of this box, we've got an additional. This one's been emptied. This is another. I've got ores for days, and I've got a bunch of aluminum out there still. So we're getting to that point where I've kind of. Other than some panels, because really what I want to do is. It's never going to be fair to expect 600 power or so at night. So I think the expectation is to have enough panels during the day to run everything that we need in conjunction with charging the batteries. I mean, 23,000 is pretty good. I do have some more copper and cobalt coming, and I should have plastic. So I'm probably going to build two more batteries. That was my original thought was to have between six and eight batteries. And there's two. If I complete those two, and then there's five, so that would be seven so that's right in the middle, and I'm okay with that. I've got lead coming out, so we're going to fill this first one here. I've got some aluminum. We we'll have enough to do both of these. Um, copper and copper. Probably don't have any here, but I've got copper here. So we'll just take all this. I've got some copper coming out here as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That feels clunky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Just like that. Throw some more up top. Uh, do I convert this or do I just throw this in there for electrical components? Uh, let's let's make all electrical components. I don't really mind. It's it's gonna have to happen one way or the other, and I don't think we're gonna have yeah. So did I have any big one here left? Nope. So we're all basically out of those. And I don't think I have any for you. Nope. Okay. So you don't need cobalt. You don't need cobalt. So the cobalt can go back up on the roof. On the roof. Holy moly, Captain. That's not a roof. Copper and some lead. Electrical components that you'll make. Copper. Some lead. Okay. Iron frags. These things over here are going to be completely full of iron frags. They are running away. I'm going to make it through the night because the power is starting to come up, so that's good. Ores. There's some more lead here. I'm going to move all this out and then move all this out. Probably shouldn't have done that. Nope, I'm going to put all this back. We're going to do this 
a different way because this is going to be copper this is going to be copper and i'm going to grab some more one two three four five six seven eight because i think that's the eight i need for the electrical components that's correct and hopefully i can drop because this will be 20 we'll drop eight in here i don't know we'll, we'll be we'll be close here uh no i want to do i want to do you there you there you there now you there okay boom boom and boom 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 all right what do we need here lead we'll do another round of lead one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, just like that. All right. Looks like I can compound. I can put this back as one box here. What, which box were you? You're the cement box. This box sits over here near this doorway, as we're running this manufacturing line, which I'll show you guys how we're doing that here in just a moment, as that's running. So I need two electrical on you and one more lead. So I'm holding on cobalt. So this next batch, I'll need some cobalt. Uh, I didn't bring enough cobalt back. All right, well, it is what it is. Aluminum and lead. More iron. Uh, I don't think I want to do any steel. I, I'm not really using steel for anything at this point in time. Our power during the day, we're still minus 60. Uh, but this, as this power is coming up, it, it's we're going to get there. I would like to make sure that my goal is to have the water pump run. I'm not worried about the lighting. We can turn that off because the sun's coming. Oil pump, grinders, the mixers aren't running yet. But I, my goal is to have these running all day long and have enough power production to have the batteries completely charged up by nightfall. And then hopefully... 23 plus the next two, you know, 30,000 power or so will be enough to hold us through the night so I don't have to sit here and try to babysit these things because I feel like that's all I'm doing is babysitting. There's another one. And then once we can stop worrying about babysitting the power every single day, all day, then we can start really focusing on producing cement out of the shop floor because that is the whole purpose of the season is I want to check out a lot of the new perks that have been introduced into the game. Some more lead over there. I thought I grabbed that. And a lot of those perks, uh, I, I, pur I purchased one, the Lucky Looter, which it was absolutely fantastic. And the next one I want to pr purchase will probably be the... I mentioned that I wanted to purchase the repair bench because I've not had an opportunity to see the repair bench in action yet. So it, I may go repair bench. I'm also not overly concerned about the the uh, upgrades that make you not as hungry or, or make you stay full longer and make you sleep better because we're, we're already managing a no sleep challenge this season as it is just off of food and while running around having to drink water from time to time you know does require a little bit of effort it, it's not it's not a showstopper for us so I don't feel like it's an item I need to prioritize so I'm not going to prioritize it all right, guys, we got a little attack here. We've got 8 a.m. A little attack. A couple guys came to say hi. No problem there. Get them cleaned up. See what they brought us. Another steel. And some... That ATV is looking nice and empty. This fuel's perfectly... I don't think I'll quite need that much fuel in that truck. I will probably end up moving some of that out. What's this guy need? He needs literally just two electrical components. I've got copper, so I need some cobalt, which I did not bring back with me. So that's that's my mistake. I didn't bring enough cobalt, or I didn't have enough cobalt. And no, I put that other one on. Yeah, I put the other one. I moved one of the aluminums over to copper. So that doesn't really solve a problem in the long run. You don't need any of this, but you know, we can restock here. It's fine. It's totally fine. All right, let's see where we are here. Is this the last of what? My copper. Um, I can hold some more aluminum. 
I don't want to burn up. I'm, I'm going to leave that iron as is for now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Something just like that. And then that'll just be got some iron and some aluminum hanging out in there. This is good. Our inventory's looking nice and clean, so that's great news. As far as where we've been looting, we looted this trader and this on the way back. Uh, it is day number 21. Uh, oh, everything's reset. Oh, I was going to hope to make it out. Oh, look, there's a bunch of cobalt. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I brought back cobalt. I was hoping to make it back out for another loot run uh, before all of the POIs reset, but clearly I missed that opportunity. Here, day 21, they've been reset. So that means all this has been reset in here. So we can come through here and do a little bit of looting. This POI has been looted every single one. Oh, empty. And, and I'll show you guys kind of what I've been doing here. Now that I've got this lucky looter, I may not have quite as much of it as I normally would. What I've been doing is, is this little bookcase over here. Things like, well, I mean, this is all decent loot. Let's see, the aluminum cans, some feathers, uh, animal fat, things that I've, you know, that, that I'm not dying to have that I need access to every single day. I've been throwing in that box kind of like as a generic hold everything else so I'm not putting it in my storage boxes. And then when it resets, whatever is, you know, is lost is, is lost. It's not the end of the world. So now that this POI has been reset, I could probably go out and do some looting. But I'm really not dying for any particular loot right now. I mean, the electrical components are about the only thing I'm chasing, and I just got one. The, the upgraded fuel. Here we go. Uh, hardware and cloth. I mean, the hardware sits over here. We've got so much cloth already. All right, let's grab some cobalt. Oh, that was a mistake. Didn't mean to do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That'd be just fine. Let's see if we're gonna reach that. There we go. Get that filled up from that direction. A little bit of hodgy podgy here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Something like that. All right. We'll get you put away. Get you put away. No. Some more aluminum. Got some copper. We've got some lead. Now we just need to wait for some cobalt to come out. So I think that's the last of it, right? Is just two more electrical components. Well, one more electrical component on this guy. So it'll be one copper. One piece of plastic. And then one cobalt when that comes out. Now, can I get this all in here? Pretty close to it. No, nope, not quite. And then we really need to take a look at... This is our other cement box. Then we really need to start getting this shop floor back up and running. I was thinking about going out and doing a loot run, but all these have, these have all been reset at this point in time. So I am just going to delete all these markers because they are all now free for the looting again. So the entire map is now open for us to loot again. And like I said, other than some electrical parts, I'm probably going to need some more... Uh, see, our power production is only 93 positive. We're at full power. And that's because I'm running. I'm not even really running the mixers. They're just there, so the wind must be down. So maybe a few more panels during the day. Let's get this built. Here's a copper. Excuse, that is not copper. That is cobalt. Uh, I'm going to grab more cobalt, more lead, more copper, whatever. What the copper? Cobalt first, some lead second, fill in here, fill in here, there we go, one more battery coming our way, there'll be plenty, move you, so now that is a grand total of seven advanced batteries, so that is 21,000 plus the original, I think we were right around nine. No, we were at five, so that should be about 26,000. Is that right? 30,000. Great. Okay, so let's see. Let's turn off the water pump for now. Mike can handle the food thing. Uh, mixers, I'm not really using. The oil pump and the and the grinders. Let's see if we can get this charged up before the end of the night. It's only 9 a.m., so we should have time to get that charged up. Uh, 
Our guy is, what's the issue? Overheating. It is March, it's spring. So that means we no longer need to be bundled up like it's winter. We don't necessarily need to put cooling clothing on, but we don't need this warming clothing on. So we'll, we'll just do that. It will still get kind of chilly enough where the boots keep us from complaining. And there we go. Our heat's now back under control. Where are we here? Very, very close on this. Iron ore, uh, you can all hang out with me. You're just gonna, you're gonna stay behind. It's fine. I can hold more aluminum. There we no problem there. Hello, friends. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Whatever. Eight, nine, and ten. So this is now. I believe this is the last of it. No more aluminum. Got some copper coming this way. Got some cobalt. The iron is probably... Oh, I don't have any iron yet. And lead. Alright, well. That'll be just fine. Those can hang out there. That'll be just in case I decide I need steel at some point in time. These guys got refuel refueled recently. So they're looking pretty good. We're going to convert all this down to clay. Uh, you want the box here. You take the box. Move all. Alright. And then we're gonna make sure these guys are happy. Boom. These guys are probably producing faster than the grinders are working right now. So I'm gonna end up with a bunch of stone on me that I don't... Let's see. This one's full. Yeah, I need to figure out a way to get up and over those. So there's still one full one. The grinders haven't been on completely for the entire night yet. I'm gonna let that run. All right. Sand. I. I <sighs> this is a tricky situation because I only need. No, I can't. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I have to discard all the sand. I mean, I feel like it's such a waste. But the moment I pull out all these iron frags, well, I'm gonna be completely overweight. So. Move all. I mean, it's basically an entire box. Here's the last of the Haji Paji stuff. Aluminum, looking good. Cobalt, got a few left. And the iron, you're going to become nails because I'm probably going to need to make some repair kits anyways. And I don't feel like I can have too many of those. I've only got 16 left anyways. So, uh, let's get this out of here. I'm going to eat this. We can stack those up, make sure he has room, and I'm going to go make some more pear kits here. Have a drink of water. Beautiful. Uh-oh. We've all eat. Looks like I'm going to have more biofuel coming out. That's a box of potatoes. That's literally like a box of potatoes. What's the, What makes this not a potato box? This guy. And I have no room for it. That's, that's funny. Okay. Convert this down to bio. Be just fine. And then let me get some planks. This is a bunch of maintenance, housekeeping type activities here. I know it's not very exciting. Fine. Gotta throw these repair kits away. Well, not throw them away. Store them away where they're supposed to be. Plenty of repair kits now, so that should last him a while. This has got nothing coming out. This has got nothing coming out. I don't really have a spot for any iron. I am going to take all that sand, though, because... I don't know why I just took all that iron, because I don't really have a place to put it. And I don't even really have a need for it right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Mike's out there chopping down trees. So I've got more iron coming out. These are running pretty, pretty consistently now at this point in time. 
This has got clay in it. This has got clay in it. This has got sand in it. So we can make another round. I'll show you guys how the shop floor is working. Those of you that haven't been following us this season. This stone extractor is obviously very full right now because I haven't had an opportunity to really get over that. Yeah, I'm still going to be over even after I do this part. Yeah, that, let me get these stones put away. I'll just put them over there for now. It's fine. All right, so what happens is the stones come out of these stone extractors. They get popped in down into these grinders, obviously. You see that here in front of us. The sand and the iron frags come out. The sand goes into this spot here. Across, across the line here, we've got this clay extractor. Clay soil that we convert to clay. Clay goes into this box here. And then these cement mixers are right here. We turn and we burn. And we just run all four of these back to back to back, just like this. And then it produces us a grand total of four stacks of cement. Cement comes out, gets stacked into these boxes. And once one of these boxes is full, it's 320 gold worth. And that is how we are funding buying all the new perks this season. I'll go right there just like that. Gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with all this iron that's coming out. Uh, let's see, what do I need to build? Do I need to build anything is the question. Do I need to build anything? Um, I mean, I can always have more power panels. Those take iron, aluminum, copper, cobalt. Iron, aluminum, lead, cobalt. Uh, let me drop a couple more panels uh, just because we have the ability to do so. And buy a couple more. I mean, let's run. Let's do, let's do three more. Sure, why not? Still have, uh, when I say three more, Let's do four more, and eventually I'll get uh, aluminum. I need 20. That's an entire box or entire rack, which is just sitting right here. Copper, I need 16. There's 10. There's 15. There's 16. Because our power production is cut in half during storms, and then cobalt is 16. There's 16 cobalt, so here comes four more panels with just materials sitting around. And so, there we go. Too easy. 16 total panels. We're still at minus 100 because of the storm. We're getting 20 on the panels. It's exactly 20 on the panels, whether they are inside or outside. So it does not really matter if we move them outside. But I like to keep them up here on this roof just to keep our solar panels and everything kind of aligned. The game is not super technically detailed in regards to getting additional power by their orientation or their placement, whether they're inside or outside. Which brings us to our comment of the day, which comes from J. Paul Smith Art, who asked or made a suggestion about placing the wind turbines or the power panels in different locations trying to increase their efficiency and from my experience it does not matter whether they're inside outside in a high location or low location they produce whatever they're going to produce they can even produce the same amount when they're indoors so i appreciate the comment i appreciate you being part of the community but to address your recommendation i honestly don't think it makes a difference we can do a proof of concept on that if you would like right now no problem with that. Right now, we've got 16 panels producing exactly 20 power per panel. And so 20 power per panel means we're producing 550. And, and we'll do a double check on it right before we pop it over. But here comes this power panel. We'll do another one inside because I believe I have the parts for it. I should have the parts for it. Five, four, four, five. Is that right? All right, so we have now 17 at 20, so we're still at, we're still at oh, power in is 638. Well, that's gonna be a little confusing because the wind changes. 639, the wind does move a little bit. So inside 639, outside's probably gonna be maybe one more. Still 639 has not changed, whether it's inside or outside. We can put it up on the roof. And as long as we get it placed before the storm passes, we're probably still going to basically see 620, 639. 
maybe 640 because it looked like it was slowly ticking up. 641, yeah. So we did not get a big increase in power production just by having the panel outside. And I'm fairly certain, and we'll do a proof of concept on it right now. Same as the wind turbines. Iron. Aluminum. Copper. What's the other thing this thing needs? Cobalt. Some cobalt. Here are some iron. Whatever. What do we need here? We need uh, three more aluminum. One, two. All right. So one, two, three. Put everything else back that we don't need. So I over pulled as usual. All right. So we are right now at 983. The new turbine. As power per turbine is 18. So it should have jumped up about 18. So now we're at 1,001. 1,001 inside. Move it outside. 1,002. And that's just the natural increase from the wind slowly picking up. Coming up here, we're probably going to be about 1,003 right now. 1,000, maybe 1,004. Well, now the storm is passing, so the panels are going to jump back up in power. 1,002. So, yeah, really no increase at all. And I don't think it matters whether if you were to put it on a mountaintop or if you were to put it, keep them all inside. I don't think the game really di differentiates. That's a tough word. But I definitely appreciate the comment. You being part of the community, it's a good conversation to have for people that don't necessarily understand the power aspect of the game all that well. I think I'm actually going to do a video specifically regarding electricity and wiring up of panels and relays and power switches and things like that because that is something that I struggled with in the beginning as well, kind of understanding how that all worked out. But that will be for another another video. All right, so now we're at power in is a thousand, so we're really we're really cranking the power now. Forty full blown panels. I think the wind will produce a will go down to a minimum number of turbines i think it'll go to a minimum of 10 miles per hour and it'll produce a minimum is it 10 I, that i need to look up that i need to actually look up no oh, it's actually on the way up so that's good so th this production is going to get fully fully up and running okay nice i kind of feel like yeah all right man the food is just expiring at a rate that i cannot I, and I don't mind the food expiring. I really, really don't. But I feel like every time I come in here, he doesn't have room to put food because it's completely full. And I feel like that is just... All right. Let me... I'm going to build some more. I am going to build some more NPC boxes in here. Here you go, Mike. We're going to give you another, I don't know, four or five maybe, depending on how many planks I've got sitting around one... Two, three, four. Oh, it doesn't quite fit in there because that weird wall. Five. So that's 40 planks. I don't think I have that many just sitting around. Oh, I might. Might be pretty close, actually. That would have been 10 logs. And that may be exactly what's sitting here. Does that thing hold 10 or does it hold 12? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36. 37, 38, 39, 40. Oh, well, those logs. Oh, grab all the expired food and ignore it. I've got a bunch of stones sitting around doing nothing as well. This will lighten the load considerably. There we go. Biofuel. All right, let's give him some more crates. Machine gun. All right, there we go. So now he's got more crates. So now he can continue to. I'm gonna move this, unstack this. I know he has access to them being stacked like that. Well, there you go, Mike. Throw some stuff in boxes, bud. Where's my potato box? I want this box to be an entire box of potatoes. I don't know why. I just want it to be a box of potatoes. There, that's a box of potatoes. And I really need to start looking at food. I really, really need to start looking at making the ration packs. But I... Oh, animals! 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 Ah! 
I did it again. <laughs> oh, guys. Guys. Oh, what was the last time I checked on the animals? Oh, man. Well, okay. <laughs> oh, surprised my dog didn't come running in. Oh, guys, I did it again. Oh, I'm going to have to just set up an Outlook calendar reminder or something for me to check my daggone animals because I have done that too many times to count. Too many times to count. Okay. Here's what we need to do. Where are my mushrooms? Mushrooms. Under medical. No, they're under food. I keep them under food. Mushrooms. I need some feathers. Uh-huh. I need some iron frags. Does anybody have any iron frags? Uh... That should be enough. And some sticks. Uh... Oh. Well, that'll work out. I don't even have a stick. Don't even have a stick stand. I don't know. I want the sticks. Firewood. Firewood. Alright, let's see. What do we need? I think it's one iron fragment. One feather. One stick. And that's only advanced. And then maybe three mushrooms? Is that correct? Let's see. One of you, one of you, one of you, one of you, three of you? Yeah, so make that. Maximum is only eight because I don't have enough mushrooms, but that's okay. So what we're going to do is uh, these cans or glass. I have no, no reason for glass. I really don't. Uh, we're going to make room in our quiver. Pull these out. We're going to put these in here. We're going to put the lethals away. We're going to put the cans away. Put the glass back, whatever. Make some iron fragments. Oh. Did not mean to pull that. That was just, that was just not... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I hear you, Mr. Chicken. You are exactly what I'm looking for. And don't worry. You're coming to a good home. You'll be loved here. You'll be loved and well taken care of. All right, sounds like he's out front. Let's, uh... Here are the upgrade hammer. Oh, look, 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 look. Look, 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 look. I mean, the game is telling me. Don't, no, no, no. Right there. Oh, now see, now he's going to make me chase him. I'm not moving. I'm stealthy. I'm stealthy. Nope, that's some... Oh! Alright, so that's a hen. She'll start laying eggs for us. Oh, me, oh my. Captain Daddy. Mike, bud. Alright, let's put her away. I don't even know the last time I, I checked on them. I really don't. I, I couldn't even begin to tell you. Well, she's hungry. Like, she had very little... She had very little hung energy on her. Interesting. All right. Man, we were set up pretty well, too. We had one male. We had three females. We had just butchered one of the females to bring us down to three. So that they could keep producing offspring. We could keep butchering from time to time as needed. All right. That should keep her for a while. And we, I think we had two female goats. And we were keeping an eye out for the male to produce some kids. And... I lost sight of it. I, I don't know. I don't know how to make myself not do that. I, I really, honestly, just don't know how to make me not be so re when it comes to that stuff. So, all right. Oh, yeah. The game is definitely letting me know that I messed up. It's like, hey, have some chickens. There's our there's our rooster. That's far enough, bud. Right there. Right there. 
Is it a racing ch chicken? Holy crap, he ran for a mile. Right there. You don't... Bro, you didn't even see me. I got a pretty good long-range shot on me, so you know. Alright. I have a nice lady for you inside. You guys go be friends. Go on a couple dates first. Don't rush it, okay? Take your time. Get to know each other. All right. Here's some watermelons. All right. That never even happened. I don't even know what you're talking about. I slaughtered all the animals. That's why there's none in there. That's exactly what happened. that producing again. What time is it? We've got 5 o'clock on day number 21. We've got about two hours left of sunlight. And see, we didn't even get fully charged. Uh, I'm going to turn the water pump off. We're going to turn the grinders off. The mixers aren't doing anything right now. We can pull that, that out. Today has not been a manufacturer cement day. Today has been a let's try to get our power situated day. Don't pull from up front. Pull from which one has not been in? Oh, they've all been emptied at this point. Yeah, see, see when when they can run twenty four by seven, they basically they basically only produce what they need, and they can take what they need, and everybody you know kind of stays balanced here. But then you know, obviously, when I turn it off, then it it goes lopsided back again. But I want to try to get this battery charged up. Nine fifty two. I mean, that should be charging at a really rapid rate 5 30 we have about an hour left i think before the sun starts dipping one two three four five six seven eight you know what i could just make some sand to get rid of it as well sure let's do that we'll get rid of some sand because i think i had a spot for some sand yep and put that no nope. can't put a stone anywhere i can put a stone somewhere take exactly where i'm gonna put it Right over there. Um, should I build out this courtyard area and make it feel a little bit more like an extension? Or, you know, another option that I have here is I could take... Uh, I'm not chopping any trees right now, so let me take this upgrade tool. Uh, I've got all, These foundations take so much cement, though. I was thinking about doing some upgrades to the foundations. Because I made these floors in here actually at one point in time. Yeah, this was all this was all our temp our flooring that we needed in here when we were living inside these quarters. But now that we don't really have anything in here, don't necessarily need all that flooring, so I can reclaim some of it. Uh, plenty of logs coming back our way. Stock you guys back up. Make some room here. Oops. Well, I have a ton of planks on me. I'm going to build this out then. Reclaim some of this in here. And we'll leave one spot on the floor there for our clothing rack. That needs, obviously, something that doesn't need to be there. Lots of logs coming out of here. There we go. This is just cleaning out the little mess that we made here when we squatted down. I don't know how that water house keeps still po poking through. Mm, sure. That gives us a place to put these logs. That can stay there. This doesn't need to be there. And this doesn't need to be there. It's like free logs. Oops. I don't think there's anything in this bathroom. There's not. We will just kind of burn off these logs and planks and stuff just to get rid of them. Uh, this guy, I think that's the last of what we've built in here. We're just going to leave that because I think it needs the floor for that clothing rack to stay there. 
Oh, is that a sheep or is that a or is that a goat? Ah, I think that's a sheep. Pretty sure that's a sheep. But we'll come out here and take a look. Felt like I heard it over here in this direction in the sheep. Uh, so that's a sheep, for sure. Don't need that. I have, have no use for that. And I think I just heard a, a deer as well. Yeah, there's a deer right here. So it's definitely spring. Yeah, March. Everything's coming back out and around. Eventually, I think we'll have some... We'll eventually have some other wildlife pass through here. Probably a goat or two. We'll just... Yeah, got lots of veggies popping back up again. Not going to be doing looting. I just wanted to look, make sure that this was all respawned, and it is. So every POI is, in fact, respawned, ready to go. Got some mail here. What up, Mike? Bringing us some stuff. I've thought that we're stuck up, and I was like, that's weird. Part of me has thought, trying to figure out a way to get on top of this structure over here. So I have an elevated vantage point, but it doesn't really do me much good. And I'll show you what I mean. Let me get back in here. So I can get up here, but I can't get onto that roof. Okay, come on. Come hang out, seven o'clock. Where are you? Oh, wait, are you one of the ones that's... Did you spawn in the center here? You were probably just hanging out somewhere, huh? I can get on, I can get up there, but I still can't get on the, the next roof. I'd like to be able to get up there, really. I'd have to build way up. But that would give me an option of, like, sniping these guys. Some screws. Share the love here. More med kit. Some oil, which is great. Empty, perfect, okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all this iron. Really have no idea what I'm gonna do with it all. I'm kind of kind of all over the place right now, huh? Hardware, fuel. Hardware. Sure. Iron, I can hold a little bit of iron down in that position. Uh, one more nail, be fine. Just trying to find a place to put this stuff. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, we've got some more cement. Did I pull the cement out of here? Or what is that? Oh no, that's from me reclaiming the floors. Yeah, I could upgrade all these floors, but they, it's just so expensive to do cement foundations as opposed to cement ceilings. And I, and I could manipulate this and, and make these all ceilings if I really wanted to, but is it worth it? For power, we're almost fully charged. Our power is dropping 898. We're still at full capacity at 737 on the panels. I mean, you would think that 30,000 fully charged. I mean, it should be enough, right? I... So what I want to do is I think I want to work on some more of the lighting. Uh, I really like the lighting in the shop area. I, I find it to be very, very helpful at night. So I want to continue working on the, the lighting as well. In this area, I'm just going to build just temporarily one, two, three, and four of them up top, just like that. I think there are one glass each. Do they take screws as well? Um... No, they do not take screws. All right, put the glass back. Some stuff like that. Some stuff like that. That'll be fine. Let's see what we're short here. Two electrical. That's probably going to be across the board then. What do we need here? Two electrical. Two electrical. Two electrical. Two electrical. So I need a total of eight electrical. And 
I have the cobalt to make one. So that is not the best idea. That's not going to work, and I don't think I have any up here. I do not. I have the plastic, but... Do I have time to... I, I mean, I guess I can make a very quick run out there, huh? Let me make a quick run out there and see if I can get some more cobalt. Because I'd really like to have some more lighting. And lighting out front as well, so... Um... Just to get these out of my inventory, I don't really mind. Alright, let me run out there. I, I think I'm going to just run out on the ATV. I can get out there quite a bit quicker. So I can cut through. Love we'll of you, Dandy's chases. Guarantee it. What's up, Mr. Deer? I'm gonna bring this thing in here. Because most likely, with it being 9 o'clock, I'm probably not gonna make it back outside one more time. And I wanna go ahead and just be in position for this nightly attack. Do I? No, I don't feel like. I have as many of those as I used to have. Maybe they're just arranged. There's still a lot over there. What's your issue, bud? You thirsty? Is it thirsty? Oh, and I have no water on me. All right. Let's go over here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, whatever. You can become aluminum. Move you up here. And then let me come out here. Get some cobalt out of you. Without being over. Nice. Perfect. We'll throw 10 cobalt on the side. Perfect. Just like that. Come in here. We will get us some water. By turning that thing on. Turning that thing off. Have some water. Are you guys happy now? Look at that. No problem. Where are we for power? Almost there. Oh, I don't know. Did I bring any copper back? Uh, if I didn't bring copper back, I'm not going to have enough. I may have failed. Oh, that suspension's going doing work. I did. I did not bring. Oh, I have copper on me though. I can get close. One. I can do three lights because none of these have electrical, right? Because otherwise, it, yeah, so I could do three lights. I didn't bring any copper back with me. I only brought cobalt because I was in such a hurry. Put some cobalt back over here. Get some lights going over here. Alright, that's it, right? Yeah, okay, that's okay. And then big stuff, we'll trade you out for some wires. Um. That junction box right there, it's probably okay. I want those are probably all going to be on the exact same switch, anyways. So I'm going to do a relay. We'll just throw you right here. One copper, one iron, four screw. I don't think I have the copper. I don't. That gone it. How do I not have the copper for a relay, man? Oh, I can't get out of my own way. I need one more screw. Oh well. Well, I guess we will just temporarily go from this 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 relay right here, and then we'll just go over to some of these lights. It will not make me super happy the way they look. This is going to lay out kind of the same way. I'd like for that room to look a little bit cleaner. From you to you, right up here into this corner. I think I like these corners. And then one more. It's ever so slightly too high. There we go. And put you into like maybe this corner. And then once that's built, Cobalt. I'm gonna leave the helmet on. Obviously, I don't like. It. I like it for its purpose of being able to see what I'm looking at. Beautiful. I mean, that relay does look terrible like that, but I'm gonna clean it all up. All right. So that needs electrical. That means it needs copper. I don't have it. 
What do I have left to smelt down? We can use the final smelts, I guess, here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here. That that should be the absolute last of the precious metal smelting. Of course, all this is still completely full. Are those still running? No, that's just what was sitting there the entire time. 40. 180. Like, what am I supposed to do with that? Guys? I need to find something to build, I guess. And we gotta get ready for our nightly attack. Our horde frequency is set to every day for a maximum of 12. So we've gotta get ready for that. It happens at 12.05 every day. Our video opened up today with us doing the attack on day 20 because my machine messed up and it did not it locked up and I didn't have an opportunity to complete that yesterday so look at that look at these med kits those have got to be sold off when I get back when I when we make another run up to the trader it just have to be is he using these boxes yet oh he's using those boxes we're gonna have this little snack before the fight and always have a snack before the fight sounds like a great idea to me I need some carbs need some protein Good on all that. Um, we can use some energy. And some hydration. Which comes from our melons. I mean, we're basically doing the no sleep challenge. Again this season. And we're doing that quite successfully. Without even any of the perks. And so when those perks get purchased here soon. It'll make our life even easier. These are continuing to run. They run off the, the oil pump. So I don't really see any reason to turn those off. I mean, it, where are we on power? Can I continue to produce... I could continue to produce right now if I want to. One, two, three, four. Why not? I mean, that's the whole purpose of this, is being able to do this. Oh, I have to turn them on. Mixers are on. 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 That's the whole purpose of this shop, is to be able to run 24 by 7, 365. So we're probably going to be negative while they're running. Which is completely understandable. Oop, nope, 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 nope. Nope, I don't like that being in my number one slot. It's, yeah, see, negative 66. You know, but turn off the lighting if I really need to work in the dark. If I'm not recording, maybe I'll do that, but otherwise it seems to be okay. These guys are going to produce the cement. We can start working on this box here. 1125. Don't think we need to do anything else at this point. Just kind of in a holding pattern. This guy looks like, oh, I was thinking that guy needed fuel. Doesn't, he just needs to be sharpened. Get the last of these all cleaned up here. That's a whole bunch of iron. Gonna just have to make another rack, it looks like. Uh, maybe not for three. For three iron, I can make a, what is it, another pan? Is it on here? Nope, nope. It's just on the, a regular old workbench. A pan. Yep, have another pan. And have some more nails. I mean... There's that. It's our third pan. So there's no reason why sh we shouldn't start doing some cooking here very, very soon. I've got... I've been making a pan every once in a while when I have iron sitting around just like that. So I really need to start looking at some of these recipes over here. I like the ration packs. But I'm fairly certain I need cooked chicken for those now. Stew mix. Melon, mushroom, and egg for the full-blown ration, or the small ration, is the cooked chicken. And that was going to be kind of where I went, was these small ration packs. But I killed all my animals. So, you know, the stew mix is a pretty raw meat, raw liver. Yeah, so that's all. I got the veggies and I got the milk. But I've got to be able to obviously butcher animals. And if I can't keep them alive, it makes it really tough to make that mix. So... And that's 100% on me. That's nobody's fault. That's my own fault. 12.02. We should have our... I'm going to get this gate closed down, Mike. In or out, bud. 12.05. There's our nightly attack. This season, they've been attacking this left side very, very, very hard. They will occasionally hit a couple in the middle, but very rarely do they hit this right side over here. Didn't I just... Okay, I was about to say. So, I'm going to stick over here to this right side and see if I can, if, if it's because I'm always watching them from this side, or if it's just random. But they typically get stuck on that side. 
So let's get this attack. It's a maximum of 12. We'll see what we get tonight. I hear a couple growls. That's a leaf. One. There's three. Four, maybe. Another small attack. That was it. Another super small attack. That's three or four days in a row where we've had very small attacks. Which means there's probably a big one brewing somewhere. So I'm going to get these bodies cleaned up. We'll see what we got for loot. Ooh, is that a cobalt? This can be a little bit difficult. I think when I move these around to clear this up, it moves the body up. Oh, no. Oh, yep. See, it moves the body up. That's a little bit of a... Ugh. Oh, my God. Why, what is, why is that running so poorly? Holy moly. You see that? All right. Well, that's it. We rolled over to day 22. I'm going to get this inventory cleaned up. I'm going to smelt this piece of cobalt and this steel. Appreciate you guys hanging out. Appreciate you guys watching. It's Captain Daddy. I'm out of here. I hope you join me tomorrow for day 22. See ya.